what's interesting is is um, the doom and gloom merchants seem to have disappeared <laughs> for some reason or other. <laughs> and it's just as some of us have been proclaiming in the in the past few months about how they will be silenced by those who are coming out of the shadows proclaiming the living word because it is the living word that gives life and the doom and gloom merchants don't have that living word they only have the written word to give you and can you see how how they're being silenced by the living word and and it's a, and it's a marvelous thing um they, they may come back again, I don't know, <laughs> but I've noticed the, the, the silence is quite deafening. Of the sound of, of, of nothingness is, is in, in the air or the stratosphere of the YouTube uh, community. And, and it's, it's quite a fascinating thing what I'm, I'm, I'm seeing or perceiving and understanding that they've been silenced because there was no power. There was no power whatsoever in what they said. There was only power in it by those who were in fear. Those who were in fear would have cowered under and hidden under the rocks by the word they were proclaiming because it was too much to bear. Because they didn't feel worthy. They didn't feel uh, that they were that uh, they could become good enough. But they are. But these ones are coming out of the shadows because they know that they are good enough, yeah? And there is no fear in perfect love whatsoever. All fear is cast aside, you see? This is how we learn from the Messiah, by what he said. And that is a key to the success of our lives, just by what he said and understanding and walking in it and believing it, that you are a son and daughter of the living God. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing, the, the, the power of those who, the doom and gloom merchants, has no hold whatsoever. And those chains, are, I think, are broken. They're, they're broken. And now these ones are coming out of the shadows who have the living word in confidence and in power to glorify and magnify the one who is worthy and this is what they do with their living word and they're not afraid to speak it now because that which I mean the wolves did come they, they did come and try and snatch away they tried to snatch away the the little children they tried to snatch away the sheep like ones uh, because they were silent you see they, they were silent they, they were held they were held under that word that they were giving out but it has no power <laughs> it has no power whatsoever and it's a marvelous thing what the Lord has done and uh, this living word is will flow and grow and, and and this is where light life and healing will become and be manifest in the earth and uh, and it just be magnified and spread. And the sound of these ones, the sound of these ones coming forward is a beautiful thing, a trumpet call, if you like, a trumpet blast, not of, of, of doom and gloom, but a trumpet blast of get ready, everyone, because, because joy is coming. Yeah, times of refreshing are here, and they've always been here, but we, we never had the confidence to say it or proclaim it or say it or see it or seek it, more importantly, we weren't seeking those things. We weren't seeking the, the fullness of the joy and the light and the love because, it were, because we were held under the, the, the ministry of condemnation. But we've broken free. The, we haven't broken out. The Lord has broken us free from it because, because we kept on seeking, knocking and asking. We didn't let ourselves stay under that condemnation. And he, and he set us free, smashed those chain of bits and broke down them walls and slain, slain all those giants that were, that were stopping us from entering in. And it's a marvellous thing. And now we're, we're, we're marching, we're not walking, we're marching into the kingdom, the kingdom that is already here, you see. So we're already citizens of the kingdom, but our spiritual walk or path 
is continuous and we're right on in there everyone we're right on in there and then ones who, was, who are not entering in standing on the on the on the on the broad side if that's the right word the broad side of the puff because they themselves won't enter in they don't want you to enter in either and so this is the sound they they bark and out they bark out condemnation they bark and out doom and gloom because they don't want to enter in if a son or daughter is entering in they don't they don't need to join those ones on the broad side they don't need to do that they have no desire to do that whatsoever and this is how you can tell who the sons and daughters are because the true son and daughter of the living God <laughs> are in that living moment are in that light where there is no death, doom condemnation peace